Good morning children. Welcome back to online classes. I hope you and your family are safe at home. Now we are going to start with the second chapter, The Injured Swan. This is the story of Gautam Bhut whose name was Prince Siddharth. You must have heard the name of Gautam Bhut. King Suddhodan and Queen Maya ruled over Nepal which is now a neighboring country of India. The queen gave birth to a prince and he was named Siddharth. Everyone was happy and people from far and near came to bless the prince. Among them was a seer who is known as prophet. He could tell the future. When the king asked the prophet, he said, Your Highness, your son would be a great king or a holy man living a simple life. But the king declared that he would make him a king like himself. The king made sure that he did not come in contact with harsh realities of life that is poverty, old age, sorrow, suffering and death. Prince grew up in the royal palace and there he learned his lessons, along with his cousin Devdat. After taking his lessons, he would play amid the animals in the palace. He saw, he saw birds and animals playing. Siddharth loved to watch the pair of swans who lived near the lake. One evening, he was sitting beside the lake and he saw a bird falling to the ground near him. An arrow had pierced its wing and it was bleeding. Suddenly, he heard a loud voice, Where is the bird? Siddhar said, It is a wild bird. It belongs to no one. Devdar said, But it is the law. Whoever shoots it, is his bird. Both had a quarrel. Finally, they went to the court. The ministers agreed with Devda. But Siddharth said that if the bird was dead, then it was his, but it is still alive. Then a wise man came and said that only if the bird could talk, he said that Devda gave pain to it and Siddharth tended its wounds, so it should go to the one who wants to give life. So Siddharth took care of the bird and soon it flew and joined its flock. They that got a lesson from this that animals also have feelings. So children, we should always take care of birds and animals and we should not hurt them. Now I am going to read few paragraphs of the story. Listen carefully and try to read it at home. The Injured Swan King Suddhodan and Queen Maya ruled over the Himalayan kingdom of Nepal. Soon the queen gave birth to a prince. The happy parents named their son Siddharth. There was great rejoicing in the kingdom. Rejoicing means that people were very happy. People from all around came to bless the child. Among them was a seer who could also tell the future. When asked by the king, he said, Your Highness, your son could be a great king or... A silence fell on everyone as the seer paused. Paused means to stop a while. He looked around and continued, or oh, he may become a holy man, living his life in simplicity and helping others. King Suddhodan declared, I will make sure he becomes a king like me. So young Siddharth grew up surrounded by every comfort 
under the sun. The king ensured that he did not come in contact with harsh realities of life such as poverty, old age, sorrow, suffering and death. Prince Siddharth grew up inside the royal palace where he learned his lessons along with his cousin Devdutt. Both the boys were about the same age and lived together. Every day after his lessons, Siddharth would play in the palace grounds amid different kinds of animals. A pair of beautiful white swans lived near a lake and Siddharth loved to watch them. Now children, I have read this much. You all read the whole chapter and I will send you the exercises tomorrow. Thank you.